Hi everyone, I'm doing this video as a follow-up to my last video, uh, A-Liner Easy Solar Setup. Um, what I'm going to be showing on this video, though, is things to do with the solar power that you have that draw very little current, and but can be pretty useful at the same time. Uh, most of them are going to wind up using USB power in one form or another. Uh, reason USB power, by definition, is going to be a low power setup. USB is only 5 volts. Uh, the little bitty wires that are on a USB cord can't handle much current, so you're usually only talking about 10 watts, usually less in most cases, which is low power. Uh, I hope it helps. Thanks. Okay, first up is our USB chargeable dome lights. Uh, I bought one of these a number of years ago. It was so handy that I wound up buying a bunch more. I think I have a total of like six of them all together. Um, they literally are hanging lights you can put anywhere. We usually have a couple of them inside the camper, hang them up around the camp site in bushes. The carbiner works well for that. It also has a magnet hiding underneath so you can stick it to any metal surface. I've occasionally used it for automotive repair because of that. And we use them occasionally when we have power outages in our home. Uh, they run about 22 hours on a charge and are extremely handy. These exact ones aren't available anymore on eBay. Uh, they've been replaced by newer versions, which are slightly larger, run quite a bit longer on a battery charge. Um, they're actually superior to these, but these keep working. I've had them for years now. Another useful item are USB chargeable flashlights. We got these at Menards last year. Um, they were only like, I think, 11 or $12. As you can see, they've got a USB charging port in them. Uh, they'll charge in a couple of hours. Put out a huge amount of light and you don't mind using them because you know you're not going to have to go buy batteries. Okay, this is a USB charging station. I've already got one of these in my camper. This is the second one I'm going to be installing soon. Um, you're able to put it any place that you can put a hole in the cabinet, drill a hole, slide it in just this, and connect the wires up to the existing 12 volt wire system. Has very little draw. Uh, usually the wires in your camper are way oversized for the amount of current that's going to be coming through these. Uh, makes it pretty handy because you can directly charge off your main camper battery. Um, in my case, that's a lithium one that's recharged during the day by solar. Just convenient and easy. Doesn't cost a whole lot. I think these are about nine bucks online. Another thing that's been kind of a nice little luxury is having a radio with us that's not part of the car, running down the car battery. Um, I found this Redicus V115 radio. It was re reviewed pretty well online, and indeed it does sound pretty good. It is, of course, USB chargeable, as everything else here is, and also can put an SD card in if you want to have MP3 player uh, tunes for it, or you can just pick up regular signals. It seems to do a pretty good job of receiving as well. It's all of 20 bucks. Again, eBay. As you might imagine, having so many USB-powered devices with us when we're camping can occasionally create some issues when trying to get them charged, uh, especially if you have a limited time to get them done. Uh, the solution I came up with, I spotted this on eBay. Uh, these individual chargers, three prongs each. Uh, they're only a couple of bucks a piece, and I found a charge strip that has just three outlets and a short cord, which is perfect for what we're doing. I don't have a lot of space in the camp or extra. But I break this out and charge nine items at once, and it only set us back at probably about 12 bucks altogether. Okay, another change that's well worth doing on older campers is replacing the old, original incandescent style bulbs with newer style LEDs. Um, they're available for just about any possible application. Uh, my particular one was a 921 series. I was able to find a 10 pack online for about six bucks shipped. Uh, when I checked the wattage and amperage on the original one on my trusty little watt meter here, it was drawing approximately one amp and about 13 watts, give or take. When I wired in the new replacement, it was only drawing 0 0.03 amps. Yeah, which was about 0.4 watts. Uh, it's actually a huge difference um, and easy. There's nothing to these things. Well worth doing. Okay, another thing that's nice to have is a battery-powered fan for when you're boondocking and can't plug in any place. Um, I was fortunately gifted this particular unit uh, from someone that it's a couple of years old, originally came from Walmart, caught my attention specifically that it's supposed to run up to 50 hours on six dry cell D-sized batteries. Um, I didn't really have any interest in using those, but it does plug in with a wall adapter into the back. 
and when you look at it you realize 9 volt DC 700 is only about 5 or 6 watts it's very little electricity for a fan that moves quite a bit of air and it gave me the idea too that perhaps I could get some sort of an adapter to run off of USB power and it turns out that does exist I went online on eBay and I found a USB adapter notice a little 9 volt symbol on there and the fact that this is actually much longer than is typical uh, that's because there's a voltage boosting circuit to take the 5 volts of USB power steps up to 9 volts and plugs in just the same as the original unit even on this little power adapter it runs just fine this little bitty one is only a 2 amp hour that would actually run this a couple of hours Really what I like to do though is plug it inside into our USB adapter that's plugged into our main battery. Um, this fan could run for days off of that battery and have no issues. Um, pretty easy to handle, but really it uses so little power because it's USB that almost anything can power it. Okay, I hope I gave you guys some interesting and useful ideas. Uh, if you have any suggestions or ideas of your own, please use that comment section. Thanks for watching. Thank you.